Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be fitting a temporary 400 amp supply. We've got a team member here today. Now I don't normally like standing next to him if I'm honest because he's got kind of a superpower and you'll see what I mean in a minute. What tends to happen when he stands next to someone like me, especially to the women, I tend to disappear. So Tom, come in, say hello. Uh, hello guys, I'm Tom. Tom's going to show us how he makes off an armoured, so he's going to make off a 95mm squared and a 70 and we're going to run through the tools of what we're going to need to do the whole install. Alright guys, we've got a, a big boy grip C for the 50, primpers, socket set, we've got a drill and a hole saw. The, this one is for 50mm and this one is 40 we got a hacksaw, knife, rip saw, some tapes four 95 10 lakhs and the eight 70 10 earth bolts uh, we got a set of grips 40 mil armor plant and uh, 50. okay guys i quickly want to show you the ratchet set uh, i like to use them when uh, working with a stud or a uni strut because the stud comes through I want to show you the knife. It has uh, two blades and people, some people normally laugh at me because it has a carpenter blade. And uh, I'm going to show you a little trick with this knife. I'm going to show you a 50 and a 50 yes, ammo gun. So let's open it up and uh, see the difference. This is a 50 and this is a 50 S. And the main difference, as you can see, uh, is just size. This is a much smaller and actually I normally like to use it because it's just you know just easier to fit so quickly want to show you the size difference between 95 mil and uh, 70 this is a 95 95 and we gotta be making 95 mil today okay let's get the shroud on and uh, push down as tight as possible and uh, okay and we're gonna use the carpenter's knife to just cut this bit off So it uh, comes out pretty neat, all right? Let's get the waterproof bit with the olive. Now let's get the cable tie around it. It's gonna be a place where we score it. So this is where uh, this knife comes really handy. I'm gonna put this blade between sheathing and the uh, armor, pull up and uh, it should come in one go. So we're gonna use this knife uh, once again to uh, score around and this is good because the blade not gonna hit the cable because uh, it's just obviously gonna hit the armor. We're gonna take this part off as well. Now I'm gonna show you why I prefer to use uh, this one yeah uh, rather than this because it's just basically just just fit right in so as you can see it sits uh, quite nicely and this what's left is basically just tighten up
all we do now is just tighten with the grips and we're done right guys so this is what we're going to put in this is a 95 mil this one i'll show you the end of that and these are the two 70 mils these two so i've marked them where i'm going to cut them and we're going to be going into this panel here so this is a 600 amp panel and it was done this way for a reason but let me just take this off and uh show you what's going on in here okay so let's take this off right so let's get this off as well right you can see is existing so these are the existing 95s so they're cut at the bottom so what we're going to be doing is taking these off throw these in the bin and we're going to drill two 40 mil holes here and one there we're going to use the same earth for the same banjo and put, and blank these off basically and that would be the mains coming in so we're going to have a 400 amp supply uh, and let me show you the other side as well so this is the main switch and as you can see that can take up to 630 amps so that's the main switch these are the mccbs and the rcbs are at the top there so that one uh, let's get that in focus is 63 to 160 160 once and this one is 100 to 250 but we're going to use this one over here and it's going to be feeding a 200 amp supply downstairs so the 95 is going in here and the two parallel 70s are going to be in here right guys as you can see we've made them all off now so that was the 95 and these were the 70 and they're the off cuts that are going in our special bin so what we've done as well we've just scored it slightly so you can see it there and then I've tried to keep a straight line all the way up and that's basically because one of the hardest parts is getting this in this panel so getting it in the bottom there we have to get a good bend on it and what can happen sometimes it will get scratched as it's coming in here so once it's in here we leave that's the bit where we've uh, scored it and then we can basically pull it off and it just makes it a lot easier so what we'll do now we'll take we'll take these off get the 40 mil holes drilled there get it banjoed and earthed and then we'll have another look after that so these are a, a 19 but if you look how they're put in so they're back to back so that's the first set and then the second set goes around the back here that might be a better angle there and the second set goes around here as you can see it just clips onto the buzz by and across the top it's labeled up so we've got no confusion as well so let's get these taken out and then we'll have a look again right guys so what we've done we've taken them out as you can see cut the ends off and there they're all the uh, spare bits so let's have a look here now what we're gonna do we're gonna drill two 40 mil holes and put the earth the banjo sorry put the earth up through there so we're going to double it up like the other ones were mark them drill through and use the existing cable right guys so that line that we scored earlier what we're going to do i'm just going to show you how easy it is when it's already scored so if you have a look at this this makes it much easier to strip it all the way back and if i'm being honest with you the hardest bit of this is getting it in the panel if you have a look underneath those bends are quite hard to get in and it normally takes two people to get that in so scoring this line in the first place makes it a lot easier so we'll get this script and then we'll have a look at getting it all loved you can obviously see the other one guys that's how it looks and this is the inner sheeting so this is quite easy to take off we can just do this the whole way down it makes it nice and simple and then at, when we get to the end we'll just cut it and that'll be that they're all ready to go in now what we'll do we'll tape the bottom of that there and as you can see what we normally like to do is give it a little kick or a little swan swan neck 
And what we do is basically bring it up to here, line it up with that lug, and we'll chop it, we'll chop it here, crimp it on, and that's ready to go. So for these ones, we are using these lugs, which are the 7012s. So we'll get that done, and then we'll come back once they're all on. Right, so let's get this cut off, guys. And then after we've chomped this, we can then get it stripped back a bit as well. Right, what we're going to do now, guys, is just strip it down to about that sort of level there. So I'll show you how we do it. Simply go round. Down there. Line it up like that. And there you go. Right. So this lug is actually going to go around the back. So these are going to go around the back. So it's actually going to go to the back. It's going to sit like this and it's going to sit over here so let's get this put on and we'll get it crimp get it crimped as well so this is a heavy duty crimper as you can see the markings there goes from six all the way to 120 and there's a mark in here as well so we just line it up with a 70 and we'll get a nice crimp put in this and we'll go here and this is where i'm going to have to show off my strength So you just want to check that that is not going to pull off now. And if I show you the front as well, there you go. So that that's that's ready to go now. And what we're going to do, we're going to take that up in blue tape and get it put around the back. And then we'll get all of these put around the back. And these ones will get put around the front. So they're in. So we've tightened these up. Tighten the earth back up. This is a 120, by the way. So it should cover both. We're gonna put blanking plates in there. And as you can see, one set of the 70s are going in the front and the second set we put in the back. So L3, L2, L1 and the neutral. And what we've done, we've done like a little swan's neck in it and then it takes it straight up. So that's this side done now for the time being. Milo will come up and test it and obviously we'll talk it to the correct setting, get the blanking plates put in. But let's move to the next side and get the 95 put in. So we've put we've put the 95 mil in, so that's ready to go. We need to put the fly lead in to the earth bar, so we're gonna do that. And what we need to do, these were the existing cables before. So they've been cut. So we're gonna take these out and obviously these will be left blank ready for something else. So this one, let's take this off so I can show you. We're basically gonna lug them and we're gonna put them on these. And these are hex, six mil hexes on there. So we'll use that. These are, cause these are variable MCCBs. What we'll do, we'll come back and after I've put it away, we'll go through each one and I'll give you a quick run through of what they do and the explanation. So let's get the 95 mil put away and then we'll come cut back and have another look. So they're in, they're, they're obviously not as neat as these ones, but do remember these are 95s. So they are quite hard to manipulate, but we've swelled them round and put them up. Now, the reason we do it like this, because do remember this is a temporary insulation. So at some point we might need to take this out and reuse the cable in another panel, or the panel might need to be moved. So we leave a little bit of slack on it. So it's not pulling. If we have to move the panel, it's not gonna yank and we have got a little bit of space to breathe. So that's why we leave some slack on it. Can have a look, we've blanked these off. As you can see there, they're, they're blanked and they're tight. We've left the earths in because we might need to use it again. And th these are 32, so we can always widen them if we need a 40. Um, 95, linked it out to the earth bar there. We did scrub it underneath. So this is all now ready to go. So we'll get it tested and we're ready to go. Now, the reason we did it this way 
if you've ever pulled a 95 mil cable, you'll understand. So this was running from an SEL from level 13 all the way to five. And the plan was to pull it up from five and feed this. But that, that's one big job and it's a lot of effort. So what we decided to do instead was drop this from level 13, this 95 mil one, and put it into this switch because it's a two, it's a 200 amp or 250 amp, but we're only going to be giving it 200 and feed the 200 amp panel downstairs. And it was easier rather than pulling this up 30, 40 meters, it was easier to drop to 70 mils down from level 13 because the current ca carrying capacity for these will hit over 500 and it was a lot easier to do that and get them in the panel and it was just it just made more sense dropping these three floors from the SEL rather than pulling this up and then dropping them down so that's basically that's the setup so these are coming from level 13 we're on level 10 so we've dropped it three floors they can provide us five, up to 500 amps uh, and that feeds this panel and then we can split it up how we see fit. But that's the reason we've done the two parallel 70s and left the 95 mil in play like that. Right guys, let's have a quick look at this then. So this here basically sets the amps. So you can see because it's a variable, it goes all the way from 100 all the way round to 250 and this is obviously pointing to the 250. This is a variation of this. So as you can see, it hasn't got all the dominations there, the numerical de denominations. But what we can do, for example, you can see it there, times one is basically times 250. So we've got it to the full setting, but if we wanted something like, um, 240 which isn't on there the next one down you can see is 225 we've moved this to 0.96 which is there so 0.96 times 250 brings it to 240 so that's that one and this the isd is basically what we would equate to a B type breaker or a C or a D. So this is the tripping current. So if you times five by 250, this will trip at 1,250. And again, because this is adjustable, we can move it down to whatever we want. So five is the equivalent of having a B type breaker. Guys, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit different. Uh, we'll see you next time, guys.